Welcome back, everyone. I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Way One, and we're about to bring you a new series to the channel, but it's really a classic SNES game called Donkey Kong Country. We will be covering every level and how to defeat every boss. So with that being said, let's get started. Number one, Jungle Hijinx. So this is the first level of Donkey Kong Country. This game is a 2D based side scroller and platformer. So let's get accustomed to the control scheme. Press the B button to jump. Press the Y button to roll with Donkey Kong or to perform a cartwheel with Diddy. Of course we move with the D-pad. There weren't any analog sticks around at the release of this game. Press and hold the Y button while walking to run. Press the A button to tag in or out your partner. At the start, turn around and go to the left. Enter the cave and you will see all of your beloved bananas are gone. We have to make Can K. Rule pay for his crimes. Back outside, climb up the steps above the cave and enter Donkey's treehouse. Now grab the balloon for a one-up and head back outside. From here, go to the right. Take out the Nazi and then free Diddy from the DK barrel with the Y button. Now continue forward. See this letter K? If you grab the letter and then collect the other three and spell Kong, you will gain a one up. This is a bit similar to the Dragon Coins from Super Mario World, but it's really not worth it in the grand scheme of things. Now this guy is called a Critter. Critters are the low-level grunt enemies of Donkey Kong Country. They come in different variations, but the most common ones you will see are the walking critter and the jumping critter. Take them out by jumping on his head, or you can roll or cartwheel lean to them. Next up on the enemies list is the clump. Now these guys are a little on the weighted side of things, so take caution. If you're playing with Diddy, don't go for the head. Instead, use the cartwheel to take him out. If you're using Donkey, you can jump on him since Donkey is a heavy hitter. Take him out and continue to the right. The barrel here with the stars on it is this game's version of the halfway point. Now break it to save your position if you become unalive. At this point, take out the Nikki here who is a vulture that throws walnuts, I guess. Anyways, grab the Golden Espresso and if you collect three of them, you will be warped to a bonus game. Keep heading to the right, now bash the crate then hop on Rambi the Rhino. Now keep moving and when you get to this point, use Rambi to reveal a hidden opening to the cave. Now enter it and collect the contents inside. When you're done, collect the G item and you should have spelled Kong by now. Now drop down here and use Rambi to reveal another hidden entrance to a bonus game. While in here, collect the same golden animal to win the game. Back outside, continue to the right and take out the last clump and head for the exit. Before we start, there was a move we didn't cover in the last video. Select Donkey Kong. Now press down and press the Y button to do the hand slap. Use this move to find items such as hidden banana bunches. You can also use this to take out the weaker enemies like the Nauties and the Critters. From the start, jump on top of the cave to the left, then hop on the trees. Switch to Diddy in this area. 
Diddy is lighter than Donkey and can jump better. Okay, so let's talk about how health works in this game. Each character only has one hit point. Anytime a character takes damage, they will run away. If both characters take damage, then you lose a life. In order to add your partner back to the team, you must free them from the DK barrel. Now take out the critter and grab the letter K. Pick up the TNT barrel and throw it into the army. Now the army is an armadillo that rolls into a ball to attack the Kongs. Donkey can take it out in one jump attack while Diddy can do it in two. Now climb the rope by jumping into it and jump over the next army and keep going to the right. Climb up the next rope and hit the DK barrel to free Diddy. Switch to Diddy and try to keep him from taking damage for the remainder of this stage. Now jump on the rope to swing. Grab the golden rhino then proceed to the right. When you approach the third army, just jump over him. Hop on the rope to swing, then jump to the tree. Time to jump carefully. Use these critters as stepping stones, then jump to the next swinging rope. Make sure you hit this barrel for the halfway point. Now take out the critter and keep moving. Jump to the next swinging rope, then carefully jump to the second one. Continue to go to the right. Hop down and grab a DK barrel just in case if this army tries to sneak attack you. Proceed to the right and take out the next critter, then hop on the next swing and roll. Time your jump, then take out the critter on top of the tree. Now jump on the next swing and roll. From here, we have another swing and roll to jump to. Make sure to grab the letter N when you do. Before we can land safely, we must jump past the Zanger without touching it. The Zangers are like B-style enemies that usually try to stop the Kong's movement in air. Once you make it past it, keep moving forward. Ignore this army, then jump to the next swinging rope. Now carefully time this next jump since the Zanger is moving up and down to stop you. When the coast is clear, jump to the next swinging rope without touching the Zanger. From here, we have to do the same thing. Time your jump so you can reach the next swing and rope without touching the zanger. Finally, two zangers are moving up and down in your path. Time your jump so that you don't touch them, then reach the land to where the final critter is located. Now collect the final letter to spell Kong, then take out the last army to complete the level.